In this lesson, we're going to be finding the volume of rectangular prisms. You're going to be learning two different formulas and two different ways to find the volume of rectangular prisms, and both of them work, but make sure that you pay attention to each because you're going to need to know them for your homework assignment, and also you'll just need to pick which one is best for you in the long run. Each of these objects can hold a certain amount. When we're trying to figure out how much an object can hold, we're trying to find the volume. So we want to know how much... Um, oil will fit in a can or how much orange juice will fit in a jug. That's all about volume. Okay, when we're trying to find volume, we're essentially just looking for layers. And so we're going to make this shape right here into layers. Now, when we were finding area, we would say everything was squared because it was how many squared centimeters or squared inches would fit into that particular shape. Because volume is three-dimensional or 3D, we say cubed. So in this case, this shape has got a length of 3 and a width of 3. So the volume of this shape is just going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. And let's say it's centimeters. And then we're going to use that little 3 for cubed. So instead of where you used to put the little 2 for area, you're going to put a little 3. And that's representing volume in three dimensions. Now we're going to add another layer to this shape because, like I said, Finding volume is just adding layers. So the volume of our first shape was 9 centimeters cubed. Now take a look here and see what do you think the volume of this new shape is. All we did was add another layer. So essentially we're just adding another 9. So now it's going to be 18 centimeters cubed. All we did was add one more layer of 9. Now let's do one more. Let's add another layer of 9. So now the volume of this total shape is 27 centimeters cubed because we have one layer of 9, then two layers of 9, then three layers of 9. Now for this shape, we're going to see how many of these centimeter cubes, um, actually you know what, these look, well, let's call these inch cubes. Inch cubes fit in this total shape, and again, when we're finding volume, that's all we're doing. It's like how many cubes, whether it be inches or centimeters or even miles, how many inch cubes will fit in that shape? So if we were trying to find the volume of the metrodome, for example, and we wanted to do it in centimeters, we'd have to get millions of centimeter cubes and figure out how many fit in there. So that's all we're doing when we're finding volume. And so we could keep going and going, but I think you get the point that we would... Just keep lining up these cubes, and then we would count how many fit in our rectangular prism. Now, there's a simple formula to find volume, so you don't always have to count cubes. It's the area of the base times the height. So let's find the area of the base, or the bottom, of this rectangular prism. So we've got a width of 3 and a length of 5. So all I'm doing is counting those spaces. So 3 by 5, so 3 times 5 is 15 centimeters squared is the area of the base. And now we count the height. So we've got 1, 2, 3 layers. So our height is 3 centimeters. And then all we do is multiply 15 by 3. So 15 times 3 is 45. And once again, because we are working with volume, we're going to say it's three-dimensional, so it's going to be centimeters cubed. So area of the base times the height, make sure you write that down in your notebook as one of the formulas to find volume. Area of base times height. And fifth graders, another option too is if you didn't want to do your 3 times 5 on the bottom, you could even just count the top because the top is also a base, anything that the shape can sit on. So you could also count on the top and you can see that there are 15 squares on the top and then just multiply that by the 1, 2, 3 layers. Here's homework question one, and make sure you record your answer in your notebook, and you will also record this on the Google form. The prism to the right is made of centimeter cubes. What is the area of the base? Then you will need to find the height in addition to that, and submit what is the volume of the prism. Now, here's a separate formula, and it works the same way, um, but this is a different formula we want you to write down in your notebook. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, you can simply multiply length times width times height. So in this case, 
we can see this um, diagram is very easy to understand. We've got length times width times height. So 9 times 7 times 3. And that, if we do our lattice and we figure out the multiplication, is 189. So 189 inches cubed is the volume of this rectangular prism. Length times width times height. And for you fifth graders, if you wanted to use a calculator for this and just plug in 9 times 7 times 3, you could do that. Or you could also just multiply 9 times 7 and you would get 63. And then you could set up a lattice to multiply that by the remaining number 3. And that will give you the same answer that we got here. Homework question 2. Find the volume of the prism. And then you're going to need to um, submit online whether it's A, B, C, or D. Remember to be showing your work in your notebook. Now, we can use both of these formulas to find volume, like we said. So area of the base times the height, or the length times the width times the height. And you're probably thinking, well, those are exactly the same thing. And you're right, they are. It's just two different ways to look at it. So let's figure out what is the volume of the cube below. Well, I'm going to do length times width times height. So I'm going to find the length, which is 4. And the width, or the depth, is also 4. And the height is 4. So 4 times 4 times 4 is going to be 64 units cubed. And sometimes you will see units there in place of centimeters or inches or miles or meters. And a unit is just, it could be, it's generic. It's representing any um, sort of me measurement or any unit of measurement. Now let's try area of base times height. So th same thing, we're going to find the area of just the base. So looking at just the bottom layer, we would have a length of 4 and a height of 4. So 4 times 4 for just this bottom layer would be 16. And then we would multiply by the height. So we need to look at how tall it is. It is 4 cubes tall. And 16 times 4 is going to give us that same answer of 64. So both formulas work. They'll get you the same answer. It's just how you want to look at it. You might see both of these different kinds on your MCA test. So know that if you see area of base times height, that is used to find volume. And length times width times height is also used to find volume. Homework question three. You find the volume of this prism and choose the best answer. The rectangular prism below has a volume of 126 centimeters. And we're trying to find out what is the height of the prism. And you're going to see problems like this where you have to use some algebraic thinking to be able to plug in what you know and to find out the answer. So in this case, we know the area of the base. And we also know our formula. And so if you recall, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we do the area of the base times the height. So we have to think, okay, what do we know? Let's plug that into our equation. So we know the area of the base. I'm going to write that down. It's 42. We don't know the height. So area of the base times height, we're going to put a question mark or a variable for h. And But we do know the volume. We know the volume is 126. So remember, area of base times height equals volume. And so all we did is we plugged in what we knew. We knew the area of the base is 42. We don't know the height, but we do know the volume. So now we have to figure out, okay, 42 times what is 126? So we'll do 126 divided by 42. And that gives us 3. And again, fifth graders, you can use a calculator for this. That's no problem. So 3 centimeters is the height of this prism. And we can go and check. So let's do 42 times 3. Does that equal 126? Yes, it does. And fifth graders, you're used to seeing problems like this where you're given one of the multiplication facts and you're missing the other multiplication fact and you have the answer. And you know that that just means to take your answer and divide it by the fact that you know to get the answer. Same thing here. So here's your last homework question. The volume of the prism is 180 cubic units. What is the width of its base? So you're going to have to use the formula volume equals length times width times height. You need to figure out length times width times height. You don't know the width, but you know the length and the height, so you can figure out what the width is.
Make sure that you've shown your work in your notebook, and we also want to see those formulas written down in your notebooks as well. You guys need to be taking notes, as you know, um, when you watch these videos, so when you come to class tomorrow, you're prepared for the practice that we will do. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.